I invited you and Taylor to my wedding in Sydney, Australia. Oh. And you were there the day of the wedding and you guys didn't come. So. I blame that on Taylor. She's, she's <laughs> vocal rest, vocal rest. Security, please, guys, please, 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 please. One look, Taylor, Taylor, one look, one look. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys. Taylor, one look. Beautiful, one look, one look. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Great win last night. First up, Taylor Swift's ties with Brittany Mahomes are still catching heat after their apparent hangout. Some are speculating if Taylor's BFF status with Brittany might clash with her progressive image. Was the couple's hangout all a smokescreen? But that's not the end of it. Hold on to your hats. Literally. Because Travis Kelsey's fashion choices are raising eyebrows, especially his questionable headwear, and fans are begging Taylor to swoop in and save the day. Speaking of style, we've got the lowdown on Swift and Kelsey's unexpected car choices. Who knew a Chevy Suburban would steal the spotlight from their glitz and glam? This one will truly shock you, the most down-to-earth couple ever. Taylor's Tricky Friendship Taylor's friendships have always been closely watched, but her recent connection with Brittany Mahomes has some fans raising eyebrows. The duo, spotted hugging and laughing at the 2024 US Open, seemed like fast friends as they watched the men's singles final together but not everyone is thrilled about it. Brittany Mahomes, wife of Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, has attracted controversy in recent weeks after liking a post by Donald Trump on Instagram. For a lot of Swifties, Taylor's alignment with Brittany, even if it's just through a public show of camaraderie, doesn't sit well. Swift has been outspoken about her political stances, especially in recent years, and she's become a symbol of progressive values for many of her fans. To see her cozying up to someone who appears to be supportive of Trump's campaign feels like a contradiction to some. Social media has exploded with reactions, many calling Taylor's judgment into question, while others are quick to point out that friendships don't always mirror political values. People grow, change, and influence one another. Could Taylor be softening Britney's views, or maybe it's just a case of keep your friends close and your footballer's teammate's wife closer? Swift is no stranger to backlash, but navigating personal and public relationships in the current political climate is tricky. This friendship with Mahomes could either blow over as just another celebrity bonding moment, or it might become a larger point of contention as both women remain in the spotlight. While time tells how this situation will play out, let's talk a bit about Taylor and Travis' precious car parade. Uh-oh, look who's here. How about that another Taylor? Swift. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
cue for Fred Sinner is also incredibly well prepared, analytical, smart. Swift and Kelsey's car parade. Taylor and Travis have been turning heads with their powerhouse romance, and their love for cars is no exception. While both are known for extravagant lifestyles, when it comes to cars, they strike an interesting balance between luxury and practicality. Their recent low-key exit in a white Chevy Suburban after attending a wedding in New York had everyone buzzing. After all, for a couple who regularly makes headlines for glitzy appearances, this simple SUV choice felt unexpected. Travis, with his football star swagger, is often seen cruising around in serious rides like his Rolls-Royce Ghost or his beloved Burgundy 1970 Chevy Chevelle, which made quite the splash last year. Kelsey doesn't shy away from the practical. His go-to for everyday drives? A GMC Terrain SUV, proving that even three-time Super Bowl winners need a dependable workhorse. Taylor, on the other hand, is equally down-to-earth when it comes to her garage. Despite her superstar status, she's been spotted driving her Toyota Sequoia, a vehicle that screams function over flash. Her first car, the pink Silverado, also shows how her love for vehicles is more about sentimentality than glitz. Their recent choice of a Suburban for a high-profile exit might have irked some, but it also shows that despite their fame, they're not always about flaunting the flashiest wheels. Sometimes it's all about blending in and getting where you need to go, no Chevelle required. Swift and Kelsey's Dance Fever While the weekend at the US Open had everyone talking, it was not just about tennis, but the undeniable chemistry and coordinated style between the couple. They was spotted dancing to Bad Bunny's Titi Me Pregunto, with Swift rolling her hips and Kelsey grooving along behind her. A fan captured the playful moment with Swift caressing Kelsey's face as they swayed together, showing off how much fun they have together. Dressed to impress, Swift leaned into her signature red era, rocking a gingham reformation dress, a $3,980 red Gucci bag, chic cat eye sunglasses, and of course her iconic red lipstick and nails. Kelsey wasn't far behind in the fashion department, sporting a Gucci ensemble featuring a white polo, shorts, and a red and green striped bucket hat with a pop of ruby to complement Swift's look. The two looked completely in sync, both with their fashion and their fun-loving energy, with the official US Open account even declaring them a vibe. After dancing and celebrating with fans Patrick and Brittany Mahomes in the star-studded private suite, Swift and Kelsey made a stylish exit, continuing their night with dinner at Medusa Mediterranea. Swift switched up her look, opting for a brown and beige Gucci logo dress and trench coat, paired with a matching black horse bit purse and heels while Kelsey kept things casual but trendy. Their shared love for music was also on full display when they belted out I Believe in a Thing Called Love by The Darkness, with Swift even pulling out an air guitar move. From PDA-packed moments to bonding over music, this power couple knows how to have fun and keep all eyes on them. My IQ for Fred Sinner is also incredibly well-prepared, analytical, smart. My IQ for Fred Sinner is also incredibly well-prepared, analytical. Want to take pictures? <laughs> yeah, that's all that. She's courtside. Love or PR stunt? Such a high-profile romance doesn't come without plenty of debate, though, and the latest scrutiny comes from a body language expert who's weighed in on their recent U.S. Open appearance. The couple's PDA-filled moments at the event, complete with Swift's hip rolls and Kelsey's affectionate grooving, have been interpreted by UK-based expert Judy James as potentially choreographed for the cameras. James suggests that Swift and Kelsey might be using their public displays of affection to counteract fomance rumors. According to James, when a relationship is under the spotlight, especially one involving celebrities of this caliber, there's a temptation to overcompensate and prove its authenticity through visible, often dramatic gestures. 
She notes that while their actions might seem staged, they are likely genuine, particularly given Swift's tendency to embrace every aspect of her public life with enthusiasm. Despite the speculation, James acknowledges that the couple's chemistry and public interactions are undeniably passionate. She highlights that Swift, known for her total commitment to whatever she does, adds a layer of authenticity to their displays, suggesting that their behavior might be an over-the-top yet genuine expression of their feelings. Since their romance became public, Swift and Kelsey have consistently shown support for one another, whether at her concerts or his games. Kelsey himself has expressed how much he values Swift's presence in his life, emphasizing their mutual enjoyment and support rather than any PR strategy. In the end, whether their romance is a carefully curated narrative or a genuine love story, Swift and Kelsey seem to be enjoying their time in the limelight, blending real affection with the occasional spectacle. What do you think? Do they knowingly put on a show for the paparazzi? Let us know in the comments below. Kelsey's hat faux pas. Lastly, we have to talk about Travis Kelsey's style. Travis might be scoring touchdowns on the field, but off the field it seems his fashion game needs a serious timeout. As he's been out and about with Taylor in New York City, one major fashion blunder has stood out, his hat choices. While Kelsey's mustache might be a matter of personal taste, it's his headwear that's really causing a stir. Let's be honest, baseball caps are great for a casual day out or a quick run to the store, but when you're hanging out with one of the world's biggest pop stars, you gotta step up your style game. Kelsey's choice of hats, especially the black New York, New York cap, has been getting major side-eye from fashion critics. While he's rocking some killer Gucci outfits, the hats just don't cut it. They make him look more like he's headed to a game than out on a glam date night. Even when he tries to get fancy with his green and red Gucci bucket hat at the US Open, it feels like he's trying too hard to be trendy. The oversized hats paired with his towering frame clash with the polished look Taylor Swift consistently delivers. The contrast is striking, and not in a good way. Saturday's outing was a game changer, though. Kelsey went hatless, and surprise, he looked every bit the Hollywood heartthrob. The lack of headwear showcased his full potential as a style icon, and allowed him to shine next to Swift's impeccable fashion choices. As Kelsey dreams of a post-football career in film and television, he might want to rethink his hat strategy. For now, it's time to stash those caps and focus on nailing that A-list look, because if he wants to keep up with Swift's fashion standards, he's got some serious catching up to do. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.